Wanted, eight young adventurers tough enough for the challenge of a lifetime. When I saw the Amazon, I was like, I've got to apply for that. Their mission, to head up the mighty Amazon and help endangered animals. It would just be amazing. You're never going to do anything like that in your life. The Amazon is the world's greatest rainforest, full of a huge variety of creatures. This extreme environment is where the Sirius Amazon team will come on a challenging mission to help pink river dolphins and red wakari monkeys, two highly endangered animals. I'd just love to be able to help and know that I've made a difference in the world. You've got to save things while you can because you don't realise how quickly they can just go. The trip will be very tough, living rough for three weeks in the heart of the Peruvian Amazon, one of the harshest places on Earth. The search is on by BBC New Talent to find eight exceptional 12 to 15 year olds. A record number apply, more than 29,000. Deciding which young adventurers have got what it takes, expedition leader and former army officer Ben Major. Okay, no cheating, let's see those elbows get right down. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Completing the judging team, Holly Murray, assistant leader on the expedition. And series producer Marshall Corwin. I know it would be tough, I think, because of who I am, I can take that. I'm a complete hippie, eco-warrior, tree-hugger, vegetarian, you name it, I'm it. Is there anything that you would fear if you went out there? Apparently, if you put your hand in the water, you'll get eaten by piranhas. I don't want to get bit on my bum by a mosquito. The only thing that would bother me is if I woke up one day and there was a spider on my chest. But if one of them bit me, I'd bite it back. <laughs> Each applicant is absolutely determined to be one of the eight Amazon adventurers. I know it's going to be a challenge, and but at the same time, it's going to be really exhilarating. It's just something you'd be crazy to miss. It's the Amazon. After much debate, 16 finalists are chosen for a demanding weekend in the Scottish Hills. It begins at 6am with a surprise wake-up call. Morning girls, wakey wakey, how are we doing? Everybody up, and then we'll see you downstairs in about two minutes. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Straight in, straight in. That's it, just stuff And there are more surprises in store as Ben leads the finalists into a stinking bog. <laughs> The water is freezing cold and absolutely filthy. I knew he was getting a wake-up call, but I didn't expect to get this one. It's freezing! Because <sighs> you had all this gunk around you and it was like, ah! Letitia is having real problems. Hold on to me if you need to. Oh, it's back to the hip, my leg. Her feet keep sinking in the mud and she's starting to panic. Right, you're going to go through it on your belly? One, two, three. Let's go. Give it all you've got. There you go. That's it. Deep breaths, deep breaths. I couldn't get myself up. The mud was just dragging me down. I couldn't get myself up to be swimming. It's been a real shock to the system and the longest weekend of their lives is only just beginning. What we've got laid on for you is a number of activities which are going to challenge you both individually but also as working together as a group. The pressure is intense. All 16 know that only half of them will go to the Amazon. I've put a lot of effort into getting this far and for me to go all the way is like, wow. It'll be like a once in a lifetime chance. So I'm just going to do everything, give it all my best. And it's just such a big opportunity, like this much by about this much by this much. That's how much I want to go. There'll be two major tasks in the Amazon, building a breeding enclosure for rescued monkeys and ripping out illegal nets which trap rare dolphins. Living in the rainforest will take determined characters who can rise to challenges way beyond anything they've done before. So, back in Scotland, it's time to test their nerve to the limit.
This is what's called the high ropes course. We're going to be doing a couple of activities on here, but above all, it's all about going through what you might call your sort of comfort zone and actually conquering it. The first test is the leap of faith, a jump to the ground from a platform 12 metres high, around 40 feet. And some of the group aren't too happy about it. I must be crazy, absolutely petrified. My heart's pounding. Leticia is putting on a brave face, but is rapidly losing her nerve. Oh, oh, go. Go. No! No! It doesn't like hold you up. Okay. You really just drop. Yeah. yeah. She's harnessed securely, but it still takes a lot of courage to make the leap. Go, go! Georgia is also having trouble at the top. Okay, Georgia, how are you feeling? Horrid. Okay, Georgia, don't let go of the bars. Hold on tight. She's determined not to fail. Okay, I'm going. One finalist fails to make the jump, and some even seem to enjoy it. <laughs> it's an impressive start by the group, but now they face an even more daunting challenge, balancing on a thin beam way above the ground. Beth is first, and she's terrified. Ooh, OK. Get your balance. Arms out wide. Arms out wide. Get your balance. Concentrate on what you're doing, and then it's just one step across. Yeah. Let go of the rope. Let go of the rope. The rope is only there for safety. Nice and steady. That's fantastic. I can't see where my feet are going, so I don't know if I'm going to walk off or not, and I'm really wobbling. All I want you to do is bend down and touch your toes. Let go of the rope, let go of the rope. Just touch your toes. OK, stand back up again, nice and slowly. OK, and then just continue across to the far side. She shows great character to overcome her fear. But I'm nearly there. Oh. oh. Yay! Are you happy to be back on terra firma? Definitely. I'm, I'm glad I've done it, though. Definitely. You did incredibly well. Thank you. And Beth isn't the only one who has to summon up every last drop of courage. Whoa. <laughs> While waiting for his turn, Jamie has been getting more and more worried. I've always thought I'm quite brave, but this thing and this thing, I'm really, really, really nervous. Just take your time, OK? Keep holding on with your right hand for now. That's it. OK, just get your, get your balance. Just focus on a point. Look ahead. But Jamie's nerves are getting the better of him. Wait, can you just catch my breath, sec? No worries. Sorry about this, I'm really terrified. I'm really, really scared. And everybody made it look so easy, so you think, oh, that's going to be easy, but it's really, really terrifying. He forces himself to have another go. But again, he's paralysed with fear. I felt I was going to fall. It's crunch time for Jamie. The Amazon is calling, but has he the strength of spirit for a third attempt? That's it. Keep your arms out if you can. Small steps, small steps. That's brilliant, Jamie. He's absolutely determined to keep going. Keep your arms out, nice and balanced. Don't rush for the end, OK? Don't rush for the end. 
One metre to go. Half a metre. Hey! It's a phenomenal achievement. Well done. It's not easy, is it? I'd be really disappointed with myself if I got all the way up there and then I couldn't do it and I chickened out and I always believe in like pushing yourself further. Well chef for myself. <laughs> Once again it's a hundred percent success for the finalists, but has anyone caught the eye of judges Ben and Polly? It's so difficult because they, they are literally so good and I'm no clearer at all after the whole of this morning's activities for thinking, oh well they're sticking out, they're not so much. So trying to select the final eight is, is just getting harder, not easier. The Amazon is home to a vast range of animals, some more friendly than others. The team will be living rough in their territory, so in Scotland, animal expert Steve Backshall confronts them with some of the less cuddly creatures they might meet. Whoa. <sighs> eh. Oh, my days! Snakes are one of Letitia's greatest phobias. Come in closer, it's not going to hurt you. Steve! Have you ever seen one of these before? No, I haven't. <laughs> that is a snake. That is a snake. <laughs> it's okay. I'm holding a it's snake. It's not going to harm you. I promise you it's not going to harm you. How I'm does that feel? I'm holding a snake. I'm holding a snake. I really don't want to be holding a snake, but I am holding a snake. How does it feel, Tisha? It's a snake! And then he flew out of the room. It was terrible. It was terrible. Georgia is also about to face one of her fears. Oh, is that what I think it is? What do you think it is? A scorpion. Yep, that is most definitely a scorpion. Ah! Just heard stories about how people have like been bitten by a scorpion and died like instantly. So I thought, oh, I don't really want to touch that. Could it kill me? <laughs> This definitely, definitely couldn't kill you. Is the venomous ones have very thin pincers and very fat that tails. Too. So this one here is completely opposite. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but it's not that bad, is it, really? If you hold your hands out. Look at all its legs, it's mean. Callie is having problems with a giant millipede. Oh, oh, oh I can feel it moving. Well, it looks kind of like a poo that you... <gasps> it's moving its legs, it feels so odd. I thought it would be slimy, but it wasn't actually that slimy. And it crawled over my hand, and then it was actually quite cool, because it was, like, on the end of my finger, and then just sort of looking up at everything. And she's completely happy to encounter a dwarf caiman. Oh, I always love Vivi alligator. <gasps> is it a caiman? You it get, is. Yeah, it's because it's you get caiman in the Amazon, caiman. don't you? Really odd. Beth isn't quite as confident. You're shivering. <laughs> it's OK, it's just the eyes, they're really evil. Have you ever well. met... A rainbow boa before. I've never met a rainbow boa before. Would you like to get better acquainted? I would love to. Many of the finalists, like Jonathan and Simran, love all the animals. Why is she so light? It's like a feather. Badly. Oh, wow, well, that's amazing. I've Gosh. never heard a scorpion before. Oh, dear. It's like a bit of a weird. just, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we have to do it sometimes, didn't we? You did. God, you took it like, like a true pro, you handled that. Fantastic. The t shirt? No, 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 no. Meanwhile, Letitia is having to face another big phobia. It's no. possible, it's it's possible that, it's when you're, that when you're out I may see one or two of those. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to hold it. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll hold, hold it like it. that, but I'm not holding it until it can touch my hand. I think you should at least feel it just touching your hand. But if you're going to go to the Amazon, you could come across spiders that will be much, much bigger than this. Yeah, but then I can run, but now I can't run. Just give me a hand. Can I not, do I have to hold it? You don't have told it, but I'm absolutely promising you that you will be so chuffed that you've done it afterwards. She forces herself to overcome her fear, but can't bear to actually look at the tarantula. There you go. Oh, my days, there's a spider in my hand. Letitia, look at me. Look at me. Look down at your hand. No, 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 because I'm going to jump. I'm gonna... Look, look down at your hand. Look at that. Isn't that the most gentle, delicate, wonderful creature? You are holding one of the most beautiful spiders in the world in your hand. And a couple of minutes ago, you said that nothing would make you do it. You did absolutely brilliantly. I've held a spider. Not much people can say they've done that. The mighty Amazon contains nearly a quarter of the world's fresh water. The adventurers will be canoeing and even bathing in the river. So 
though the finalists' next challenge will test their confidence in water to the extreme. What we're going to do now is what we call gorge walking, canyoning. It's going to be cold, it's going to be slippery, and also it could be potentially dangerous. They're sort of fast and big looking over there. And just, <laughs> you know. The group's first task is to climb up a waterfall facing a raging torrent of freezing cold water. The rocks are treacherous and the force of the water is huge. You step in and it just rushes you all back and it, you're really worried in case you slip. Whoa! The water was coming at you really very fast and I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be so strong. I was quite scared because it was really slippery on the rocks and you couldn't see where you're putting your feet. Working together, they all keep their cool and make it safely to the top. The reward, an exhilarating natural water slide. Really? It was like really bumpy, you just got all to the right. <laughs> That's that? amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you think there's going to be really sharp rocks on your bottom and stuff, but you just slide straight down and it's really amazing. Broke me, <laughs> I'm so cold, my mouth won't even move. Duh, duh, I'm overwhelmed. Utterly indescribable. Best experience I've ever had. Yet again, every single one of the finalists has risen to the challenge. The judges are astounded. The guys that were slightly nervous of water, slightly worried about slipping on rocks and hurting themselves, they overcame their fears and then got through. And I'm now at a loss for words, I just don't know what to say, because normally at this stage, I should have a pretty good idea of potentially who's going to go through the final eight, and I'm completely at a loss. Yes! As the day wears on, the group face activity after activity, designed to test their teamwork and problem-solving skills. We're going uphill now. See, you're there, you're on top. With the judges watching their every move, the tension is starting to rise. Every now and then, you're sort of, you realise what you're here to do, and it just sort of hits you, and you're like, get all butterflies and nervous, and you sort of look around, and you're thinking, who's going to go, who isn't, you know, could this person stop me from going? It's sort of, hmm. nobody else that I know has ever been down the Amazon. Nobody's ever been like to Peru, so it would be such a big thing if I got to go. It's been an incredibly exhausting day, and it's half past eight in the evening before the group finally get a chance to wind down. The leaders have promised them a video to watch. OK, everybody, I hope you've had a great day and feeling nice and relaxed and cosy and refreshed. Well, I hope so, because see that mountain behind me? No! That's why we're going for a night out. basically going to have a race to the top of the mountain. Boys versus girls. This is the last time you've got a chance to impress us, all right? The biggest thing that is seriously, seriously putting you under pressure right now is the light. We've got about 40 minutes, and that's to get from here to the top. I thought they were having us on, and I just didn't think it would be this high up. So. Me and Wilderness are really not at one. But others like Sam are raring to go. I'm really, really totally up for it because I'm oh like, hey, just, this is it, you know what I mean? Three, two, one, go! go. Can I? Don't sprint, don't sprint! Yeah. The boys set off at a cracking pace, determined not to lose to the girls. It's really tough. Just look up the point that we were trying to get to, and it's just so high. It looks a, like vertical from there, but. I hope it's not. The girls quickly fall behind. Carrying all their camping equipment is really slowing them down and tempers are fraying. Ow! Sorry. Slippy rocks. Slippy rocks, boys. The guys are performing really well, although I have to say there's a bit of a power struggle going on. There's a lot of shouting. Boys, you're gonna have to be quick. I just need to button that and concentrate on getting up the hill. OK, guys, come on, push on. Five minutes. Four to five. Three breathers. Meanwhile, the girls have decided resting is a greater priority. 
I think we're working as a team. Because it's more important that we get our team up than try and compete with the boys and get to the top and not have enough energy to set our camp for the night. But cracks in the team are starting to appear. Let's give Letitia something to carry. Well, hey, I get something to carry. You take the Put pole. the sack on. And no. Oh. <laughs> no way. No way. We've had a few moments, uh, but um, we're getting there. Further up, the boys have a problem. Matt has been sick. You feeling lightheaded? A bit sort of. Just, just, just tired. Yeah, just really sleepy. But as the girls get closer, he's determined to keep going. I feel perfectly fine. Off we go. The climb is getting steeper and steeper. Keep going. That's great. That's great. We can still catch the boys. Despite his best efforts, Matt is sick again. He feels he's left on the side down. I'm really worried about getting to the top because I know all my team are really determined to go up. He's giving it 120 percent and he's really trying his best. You can't, couldn't ask him more from him. So we've all waited. They've now been up for 18 hours and are on their last legs. Matt forces himself on once more and the teams make a final push for the summit. This is the last bit. Oh, my Give it all you've got. Almost there. It's pitch black and raining hard as the boys finally make it. Just hold it there, guys. Hold it there. We are here. So all I can say is, fantastic, you've done it. That got it. Well, would you believe that you'd be standing on the top of Ben Ann at quarter past midnight? The girls are just behind. Go, girls. Good stuff. Well Fantastic. Done, well, I'm really chuffed with how far we've come and how like we encouraged each other and kept kept the pace going. I think we've all done like, really, really well. It's quite weird to be up here at half twelve now. Getting to the top has been great, but we still have to put up a tent before I can go to sleep, so it's not so wonderful. While they get on with making their shelters, the leaders reflect on how the finalists have performed. They've all done incredibly well because it was tough um, and worked as a team and it is going to be difficult to make this decision but for me definitely I can say I can rule out two for sure. Things for me were clarified a lot coming up the hill. Having said that, the girls are a lot more clear cut uh, than the boys at the moment. As they finally bed down, there's only one topic of conversation, tomorrow's big decision. It dawns on you while you're here and like... You were the last 16 out of 30,000. I will be gutted if I don't get through. I think everyone will because we've all come so far. After a long, wet night, it's time for the serious Amazon judges to make some impossible decisions. They're all so fantastic and sailed through all the activities so well, I just don't quite know what to say at this point. I think there's two or three individuals that I could say potentially no. I really, really, really want to go. You know, I know it's going to be like hard when you get there and there'll be times when you're thinking, oh my, why did I volunteer for this? But I want to go so much. On the hill, he was outstanding. As a character, he is just fantastic. <laughs> hysterical. Yeah. Hysterical. We've got to have him. If I get in, it will mean so much to me. I don't think I'd have an opportunity like this again and it's something I could talk about for ages and something I'd remember for the rest of my life. The big question for me is brilliant character, but is she going to work as part of the team? I can taste it. I can taste the Amazon, really, on the tip of my tongue. The final 16 gather for the last time to learn who'll be going to the Amazon. It's the moment of truth. All I want to say straight away is it's been an amazing weekend and it's been a phenomenally difficult decision. So I'm now going to divide you into two groups and you're going to go off to two different rooms. All right? So here comes the, uh, the bit of paper. Polly, Jaguar. Sam, Puma. Georgia, Puma. Doug, Jaguar. Matt, Puma. And Beth, Puma. Puma, you're going to move off to the Puma room. And Jaguar, you're going to move off to the Jaguar room. The tension is almost unbearable. Okay, guys, 
It's been an incredible weekend. It's been very, very difficult because you've all been unbelievable. I'm sorry to say that you guys won't be coming to the Amazon. I'm really sorry. It's been so hard. Letitia is among those not selected. In the next room, emotions are running at an all-time high. Okay, guys, it's been an amazing weekend. All right, you've been through waterfalls, you've been on high ropes courses, and I'm sorry to say, you're going to have to go and get some inoculations because you're going to the Amazon. <laughs> Jamie has shown great courage in conquering his fears. When they came in looking all serious, I thought, oh no. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Matt has proved he has the will to succeed even at his lowest moments. It's just absolutely amazing. I just can't believe it, really can't. Callie has displayed character and a real passion for the Amazon. I can't stand up and I can't sit down and I can't, oh, I can't do anything. And completing the team, Sam, so good. It's just like, yes! Georgia. I'm so pleased. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Beth. I can't believe it. So I'm really excited. Jonathan. I'm over the moon. I'm back and meeting other times again. And Simran. It is amazing. Okay, it's like. <laughs> Next time on Serious Amazon. <laughs> spooked by tarantulas. Oh, there's a huge spider on your back. Plagued by mosquitoes. Please. And tested to the very limit.